Hi, it's Janie. Welcome back to my channel. And today's video is going to be the purchases that I have made during the month of October and possibly a little bit at the beginning of the month of November. Um, this is not going to include anything that I ordered or purchased at Sephora during the VIB. I have two online orders, so whenever those get here, and if you want to see what I purchased, then I will do that haul. This is just a, a collective haul. Um, there's some stuff from Ulta, Macy's, um, the um, CCO, uh, ne Neiman Marcus it looks like. Anyway, just a little bit of stuff. So why don't I just quit telling you where I got it at and let's get started. Okay, from Macy's, um, I ordered my backup or a replacement of my Clinique clarifying lotion. I do use the number three. I use this daily, twice a day, the morning and evening, and I have used it for years and years and years. Swear by it, can't be without it. So I did get it, and I also purchased it during um, their gift with purchase. I do like to do that, so that way I get a little bit more bang for my buck, so to speak. So the gift with purchase was this cute little um, cosmetic case. You got to choose. There was two different ones to choose from, and in it was a a little eyeshadow compact that matches the case. So cute, and it has in here a blush and some eyeshadows. Very pretty and very fall appropriate. And also in the gift was a little Clinique. Um, oh, what are these called? I can't see it. It's something pop, a lip pop or something like that. But anyway, it's the, lip, the lipstick. And I've been wanting to try this formula, so I thought that was a good time to get it while it was um, a gift with purchase. It's just a little baby one. So that was in there. And of course, my favorite um, eye makeup remover, and that is the Clinique Take the Day Off and it's a bio phase that you shake it up and you shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it until it gets milky and then it's ready to use and it's wonderful for taking off that um, hard to get off eyeliner like the Chanel eyeliners. Those are so hard. I mean, they stay on wonderfully, but they're just so hard to get off. And then it had a little um, dramatically different moisturizing lotion. Again, another favorite uh, moisturizer I like to use this as kind of like a prep a skin prep for other skincare and then um, a little travel of my all-time favorite perfume the Clinique happy so that was what I got for my free gift so if there's any time that you have staples like this that you purchased you know over and over and over again and if it's a line that does like a gift with purchase like Lancome, um, Estee Lauder, Clinique, different ones like that that's the best time to get it so you just get a little bit more for your money. Okay um, let's do this one here oh this one this one this one this one came from Neiman Marcus and yes I did it oh boy Okay, this is the Tom Ford Holiday Eye and Cheek Palette. This guy is a lot of money. A lot of money. And I knew when I seen the promos for these that I wanted to get one. And I wanted to get both because there's two different choices, a warm and a cool. And I thought, okay, I'm going to pass up on all these other... Um, holiday palettes that are coming out like the Too Faced, Tarte, just different ones like that because I want I want the Tom Ford. Oh, this was, I knew it was going to be expensive. I just didn't realize it was going to be that expensive. It was $155. I'll just put it out there and let you know. Anyway, it's in a white packaging. It did come with a white um, sleeve on it, but I don't know what I did with it. I did order the Cool and the Warm. I did order both. And as soon as I got them in and I looked at the cool in person, other than just the pictures, I knew that that wasn't going to work for me because two of the colors in there were very, very, very um, glittery, which the glitter I, I could have I worked with. 
But the problem was when it swatched, it was just nothing but glitter. There was no color payoff whatsoever. So for $155, you know, I want something that's going to have some good payoff on it. So I sent that one back, but I did keep the warm. And this is what it looks like. It does have a glitter one here, but it has a lot of pigmentation to it also. So, and it is very, very pretty. There's a highlight for the face and then there's the blush um fair, I mean, it is beautiful I don't know if it was really worth $155 but I have it I've dug my fingers in it because with Neiman Marcus um if you swatch it or whatever you can't send it back so anyway I don't it's just very very fair very workable it's really pretty colors um Definitely a splurge, definitely a luxury item, definitely probably not worth the money, but anyway, I have it, I'm going to use it, I'm going to enjoy it, and that's that. Anyway, so that was Tom Ford, and then we went, this past weekend, we went to Branson, and we went to the, um, the CCO, which is a company cosmetic outlet where you can get certain brands at a discount like MAC, Bobbi Brown, Estee Lauder. I think it's pretty much all the, the brands that Estee Lauder owns. So Clinique, MAC, Bobbi Brown, um, Tom Ford. There's some Tom Ford in there. I'm trying to think. Smashbox. Anyway, whatever. So I did get a few things. Not a whole lot. Um, one is another little Tom Ford um, eyeshadow duo. And this is in the color Ripe Plum. <clears throat> I'll clean it up. And again, it comes with the little um, velvet little pouch that goes on it. But I, I don't keep those. They get in my way. And that's what it looks like there. I did wear this. Um, my video um, where I was doing my, my review of the By Terry Bomb de Rose, I had this eyeshadow quad on. Or duo. It's not a quad. It's a duo. But it's really pretty and it was very sheer so if you don't like a whole lot of pigment and you like just a really sheer look to the eye it was really pretty so there it is and there anyway i got that and then i picked up an item for a mac and this was from the mac zach posen collection when they came out and this is in the color oh what is this called I-Z-U-I-Z-U -I -Z -U, instead of I-C-U, I-Z-U. And it's just a gray packaging with some really, really pretty colors, I thought, for fall. Anyway, so I got that. And then I did pick up an eyeshadow palette from Bobbi Brown while I was in there. And this is the Grage Eye Palette. And there's the packaging. And there's the outer packaging. Cardboard. The colors in here are so pretty. And that's what those look there. Just all different variations of a gray, gray taupe color is what I consider grayish to be because they're definitely not gray uh, maybe this one here is a little bit gray but the rest of them are more of a taupe color so anyway I got that and then this thing here and I debated on whether or not to get it I thought no I'm going to get it because it's a good deal because I thought it was ten dollars and I didn't realize until after I got home that it was actually twenty one dollars which was still a, a good price for it and everything but the problem is I already have it. And I knew this this lipstick looked familiar. But anyway, it's from um, S.A. Lauder. It's the Pure Color Envy um, lipstick. It's a little set. There's a lipstick and there's a lip gloss in there. The lip gloss is just a little mini, but the lipstick itself is a full-size lipstick. And it is in the color Envy. Okay, I finally found mine. And here's the color, what it looks like right here. It's a beautiful red, so what I'm going to be doing with um, <clears throat> this guy right here is this going to be in a giveaway. A giveaway that is now. The giveaway is now. So all I need for you to do is just make sure that you have liked 
the video and put in the comments below something that let's say you know we all get so much makeup that we can't keep track of what we have just put in the comments something that you have purchased duplicates of and just go from there maybe tell me what you did with it or but anyway here's the color and there it is right there it's really pretty red and these stay on very well too for being just a regular lipstick so anyway that'd be in the giveaway so that was what I purchased at the um, the CCO and then I had made a purchase at Dillard's from Chanel and I got a lipstick and this is their new liquid lipsticks the Rouge Allure ink and I got mine in 152 Coquette or Coquaint Coquaint Quaint don't know Chanel in there their words anyway it's number 152 and it looks like this here of course it is red and I'll swatch it next to the Chanel or the Estee Lauder red so and these don't really have they have a faint 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 scent to them nothing like you normally would expect from Chanel having a lot of you know sent to them okay from um doo -doo 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 -doo. Oh, let's let's talk about Ulta 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 okay first of all I like doing as much shopping on Ulta as I can versus Sephora so if it's say an item um a, I don't know an Urban Decay item is sold at Sephora or, and it's sold at, at Ulta. I will purchase it at Ulta versus Sephora because I like the point system at Ulta a whole lot better than the point system at Sephora. The point system at Sephora you accumulate points and then you can convert your points you can turn them in and get like um, what they call point perks like something like this something just really small like a deluxe size sample basically and at one point in time when Sephora started doing the points they used to give full-size products as their points I can remember going in and spending a hundred points for a 12 ounce bottle of the philosophy purity made simple and today if you go into Sephora for 100 points you can get a purity made simple but it's a little deluxe size sample that's about this big so anyway whereas Ulta your points convert into a cash value and then you can use that cash value to purchase other products so with my points from Ulta I was able to purchase this little guy right here this is the Lorac Pro 3 eyeshadow palette um, after my points and everything was deducted off of it I ended up only paying a couple of dollars for this I have the original Pro mega palette I didn't I didn't get last year's the number two because those colors and everything just didn't really appeal to me but this one I thought I really like the way that looks so I'm gonna get it okay so first of all let's talk about the packaging with the white and the rose gold is beautiful it is it's very very pretty but it gets very 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 dirty quickly Plus, I was trying to clean this off for the video, and you can see here where the gold on my lettering rubbed off with my makeup white. So it kind of smudged it, but I was trying to get it to where it looked halfway decent because it is, I have used this a lot, a lot. And I like it so much that I even took it and wore it during my son's wedding. So, but here's what it looks like. You probably have all seen it. I've been wearing it for the last month. And this will just create the most beautiful eye look. And it's so easy to work with and to blend and to create with. I just, I really, really do. Out of all of the holiday stuff that has come out this year, and I don't think this was really considered, you know, a, a launch for holiday or for Christmas. This one, I think, tops tops them all in my opinion I like it I like it a lot I like it even better than the original one and then also they were doing a, um, a flash sale where the Urban Decay um, Afterglow 
um, palette blushes were on half price so I ordered this one I think it was the last color that was even still in stock and it's in the color fetish but again once again it was a color that I already have so this is going to be a giveaway also so there's two giveaways in this video so you can either win the blush or you can win the lipstick so in your comments you will need to tell me in addition to the item that you have purchased more than once because you forgot you had it you need to let me know which one of these you would like to win so anyway so here is the color fetish so and this is really pretty really really pretty just an everyday natural looking blush for every day and it goes perfect with all of these looks that we are creating right now for fall so it's pretty oh and i just i just put a big hole in mine that's okay my nail my nail caught it anyway okay so that is that <clears throat> Okay, I think we are ready to go to Sephora. Well, first of all, I want to talk about, I have this little guy. This is the By Terry Balm de Rose um, Lip Balm. This was sent to me from Octoly, and I have a full review on this, and I'll link that video in a card somewhere up in here. So you can watch the video on that and see my review. To get that, okay, from Ulta. No, I did not get this from Ulta. I got this from the Urban Decay um, website. And the reason why I purchased it off of the Urban Decay website versus the Ulta or Sephora or Ulta website is because I do get a discount at the Urban Decay thing. Oh, my battery's flashing. Anyway, it looks like this here. You have all probably have seen it. It's all mattes. Packaging is beautiful. But I will tell you that if you have... The Naked Basics, you probably don't need that one because here's your Naked Basics and here is your Mega Pro. Uh, there's some cool tones in this one so if you like cool tones you definitely would want to get this one versus these. But anyway. I guess there's enough difference in them that you could justify having all three. Anyway, have that. Got that. Oh man, I just my nails are getting everything. Okay, and then the last thing that I did get from Ulta, not Ulta, Sephora, is the Makeup Forever Palette Nine Artist Shadow Palette in the mattes and the packaging is a little bit different than the packaging of the other ones they look like this and the matte is this one and let's see what we can see here it is inside beautiful beautiful fall cranberry and teal blue colors wonderful for fall um, if you've not tried the makeup forever eyeshadows this is a really great way to kind of dip your toe into that line because these are smaller than the normal size um, eyeshadows that they sell individually they're about gosh they're big they're about that big so you can get these little nine eyeshadow palettes for around the same price that you're going to be spending on three of the eyeshadows so it's a good way to try them I have several of them um, they have some on the Sephora website right now that are on clearance. That one. So anyway. And then the last thing that I have. Okay, as I was talking about before my camera decided to die on me. Was to make it forever the artist shadows in the uh, 9 shadow palette in the matte. And while I was changing out my battery, I went ahead and got my singles of the Makeup Forever that I have so that you can see the size difference of the, um, in this little palette versus the, um, full size. If I can get my words out. Oh, let's see if I can do this. See? 
So definitely, you know, a significant size difference, but I think for us everyday non-makeup artists, makeup wearing people, that these smaller ones are just fine. They're the exact same quality. I know that sometimes when you get a company like Bobbi Brown, when her individual eyeshadows sometimes aren't the same quality. Okay, let me back up. I'm saying that backwards. What's in her palettes aren't the same as her individual eyeshadows. And But these with the Makeup Forever, that is not the case. These small ones that are in these palettes are just as good as the original bigger ones. Oh, I said all that. That was a mouthful. Anyway, and then I also purchased, and these little guys right here are like finding the Holy Grail because they go in and out of stock so fast. It's not even funny. And that's the Extra Large Makeup Forever Empty um, Palette. It's kind of like a Z palette. These things, like I said, they are hard to get a hold of. But anyway, I got this because I'm going to depot all of these and put in here so I have them all into one spot. But it has just a really strong magnet on it. It comes with a little foam um, cushiony topper that you can put on top of your eyeshadows to protect them. Um, I have the, this is the large size. This is the extra large. Let's see if you can see the difference. Yeah, can you see the difference between the two? So, I think that's it. I think that is all of the stuff that I have here. No, yeah, yes, it is. Yes, it is. I'm not, I have some 100 point perks that I got, but like this one here, this one kind of makes me mad. It's the Gimme Brow and by Benefit, and for some reason, I thought that this was a new product. And so I've seen it as the point perk. I mean, look how small that little guy is. <laughs> anyway, um, it's the same thing as this, as it's the Gimme Brow. They just repackaged it. So I thought I was doing really good on getting something really cool with my 100 points. And no, it was not. And then I did get an hourglass mineral veil with the 100 point perk. It's a little bitty, little bitty. And there was a code, and the code I got this here, which is the Pharmacy Honey Potion um, Hydrating Mask that I got with the code. Just has a very, very, very faint smell to it. Very faint. And that's that's another thing with Sephora. During the VIB sale, you know, you shop online, you have to put in the code to get your discount, your 20% off, so then you can't use another code to like get a free deluxe size sample of any kind. That's a bummer, anyway. And then November is my birthday month, and so I did get, um, my birthday gift and I chose the Marc Jacobs uh, set. I have the lipstick but I wanted the um, the eyeliner because I really like the eyeliner for um, the um, for the waterline, the upper waterline. Oh. Anyway, that's it. I'm done. I'm done talking. Don't forget to put your comments down there below on the giveaway. Thank you so much for watching, and I guess I'll be talking to you in another video here pretty soon on a review of a, another product that was sent to me through Octonly to review. So be watching for it. You don't want to miss it, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye!